gonna be coming out with a quick video or a little video for today, knowing that I wasn't able to get my Cyber Six vlog t episode two recorded. I want to get that done and up by for Wednesday. But so let's leave the realm of animation and go to the realm of cartoons. I right, no, I meant the realm of video games. This will be my collection of DS games I have accumulated over the years. So, starting off, I'm going to do, let's see, Lego games. Now, I have a small amount of these, but I still have some. So, the first one uh, is that I have is Lego Harry Potter Year 1 through 4 for the DS. It's actually a lot of fun. And... It's good to see all these Harry Potter characters. If you don't like Lego games, this might be a bit of a change because it's a lot more from a top-down perspective. My second game is Lego Battles. Now, this is the game that got me into real-time strategy. I'm a turn-based nut, as you'll find out later on in this video. But real-time strategy, I play Age of Empires 2. And I have this too. Next is Lego Batman, which is actually one of the very first games I got from my D from my DS. I got it on, and it's tons of fun. It's the typical Lego games, but it still works. Finally, for the Lego games, we have Lego Battles Ninjago. Now, I'm actually a fan of the Ninjago show. I watched for a while and stuff like that. Surprised with how it was able to handle this kind of stuff. I watched like the first two seasons before quitting, but the show was pretty good. Oh crap, crap, crap. Everything's okay. Good. Um So yeah. Lego Battles Ninjago. Next I'm gonna just show um so my uh, scroll knots games. Now I have Super Scribble Knots and Unlimited, but I don't know where those are right now. So I'll show you. I have Unmasked, and Unmasked's a lot of fun because you get to play with the DC characters. How cool would it be to see Batman vs Superman? Oh wait, they're making a film out of that, and it looks amazing. And then we have Scribble Knots, which was the game that got me. Got fun fact. Uh, I got this game once and play, played it for a night, and I told my, yeah. Um, the next batch of games, let's show my various games. One of my other first games was 50 Classic Games. Now, now 50 Classic Games is pretty much a combination of tons of, like, card games and board games. It, it's fun. I've played, like, a few games on it and stuff. Next is Mind Quiz, which I barely, barely remember ever playing. In similar vein to that is Big Brain Academy, but I will say I've played that on the Wii. World of Zoo is next on the roster. World of Zoo was a game that I got, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. I also have Drawn to Life the next... Um, chapter, I got this thinking it was a different game, and it's still one of my least favorite games I have, to be totally honest. Then there's Fossil Fighters, which I got because I'm a huge Pokemon fan, as you'll find out later on, too. Now let's get into another section of these games. My Sim Animals games. I have the original Sim Animals, and... Sim Animals Africa, both games I do own. Yep. And they're both a lot of fun. I kinda, I like the original a lot better, but still. Um, various Nintendo games I have. Now, you may be wondering why I'm showing an SD card. Funny story, this holds Fire Emblem Awakening. Fire Emblem Awakening is one of my favorite games of all time. And I've already pre-ordered Conquest, so...
next um to join it in a similar vein to that i have fire emblem shadow dragon which is a lot of fun as well i haven't finished that game yet but i'll eventually do that mario party ds i have and this game is a fun game it you get to it's pretty much Mar mario party which i like and I don't have any of the Wii games of Mario Party, but I still um, do love the Mario spinoffs myself, so usually. And then another one of my favorites is Smash Bros. DS. Yeah, I have this. And it's amazing. In fact, I'll have to give you a view of my Amiibo collection in a later video. So before I get into my big collection of Pokemon games, I want to go through three other games I have. I have Kingdom Hearts. Now, Kingdom Hearts is a fun game, but sadly, it's recoded, which honestly isn't that great. For me, I thought it was going to be something else. I also have a game of Bakugan. Yes, I'm a ba I collected... I got this, and I've watched a bit of the anime actually too, like the first season I I saw, and I really enjoyed. Finally, let's go over my least favorite game in my collection, Legend of Korra: A New Era Begins. So as I've stated before, I'm a turn-based strategy nut, and I absolutely love Fire Emblem. And I'll tell you, horror remains my favorite show of all time. I've been looking. For a show that's better than it myself, but no, Core is the top notch for me. This game sucks. Like, it's the worst game I have ever played because it got my expectations, like, right up here. I got, I got it last year in November and I played it for three hours before going to a dinner with a friend's family. I never touched it since. Alright guys, and the vast majority of my games are, is a stack of Pokemon games, this, first up, Pokemon Y, I loved it, yet the grass starter in it is terrible, thank you for hearing that, no, but I got a Charizard that completely took his place, I love wonder trading my new starters off and stuff too so alpha sapphire i picked trico and yeah it's an, it's just as good as this game if not better because i love hoenn in fact hoenn was where i started with pokemon on my game on my old game boy advance which may be a topic for another video but but yeah Pokemon Alpha Sapphire is a great game. Starting the Endless Pit. Um, wait, I'll save this game for the end. Um, I have Pokemon Diamond, which is, in fact, alongside Pokemon Pearl, which I also have. Ta-da! The two first Pokemon games I ever acquired. Um, still haven't managed to beat them, though. And I'm going to do that soon. Um, Pokemon Ranger Shadows of, um, um, Omnia. It's the middle game of the series, and I think it's a pretty good game. One, another one of my original Pokemon games, or one of the early Pokemon games I had, was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. I adore the Mystery Dungeon series. In fact, that's what, gate, no. Super Mystery Dungeons in my DS right now. And I'll probably be playing it soon. On my own. But, I think this game is pr pretty good. Joining. Then we have Pokemon White, which I honestly wasn't that big of a fan of yet. I do. It's in that same camp as Diamond and Pearl that I need to go through again and play it and finish it. 
Pokemon Explorers of Time. Now, this game is pretty good too. It's when I'm, I actually have all three of these games. In fact, let me just grab. Or, no, aside from darkness, I don't have darkness. But, no, I have time and sky out of this trilogy. Which are both great games. Jo joining the Pokemon Ranger games I have is Guardian Signs. I've actually played Guardian Signs often. It's a good game, guys. I recommend it. So, here's the here's another thing I'm going to be telling you a story of. I have Pokemon Soul Silver. However, at one point I had Pokemon Heart Gold. You see, I put it in the side thing of a car, like the bottom part. I shut the door once, it accidentally bumped out and was ran over and smushed by the rain. I had a Torterra who I traded over from um, Diamond and Pearl to those games. I call that the great game crash that killed plenty of my Pokemon. But I do have Soul Silver, which is fun. And then when you play the modern Pokemon games, you realize how truly slow this game is. I've been at the I've been trying to enjoy the battle frontier. It's it makes you wait for a while when a Pokemon's losing HP. I mean, seriously. My second to last Pokemon game I have here is Rumble Blast. Rumble Blast is a, is the very first 3DS game I got. I got it in my stocking one year, in fact. And it's so much fun. And it's a lot of fun. Honestly, though, I want to unveil an idea I have for people who have this game, too. If you're getting bored of the normal story mode, how about you try a Nuzlocke run of it? This is how it works here. Now. I remove when I do Nuzlocke the one Pokemon rule because I find it terrible myself. Um, that rule. But Rumble Blast is a lot of fun, and so basically, what you can do to Nuzlocke it is, if a Pokemon loses all their HP, you kick them out. If you lose, um, in battle, you have to go back through. You have to favorite the Pokemon's you have in battle. And then throws those ones out. It allow it's great for the format of this. And finally, probably my favorite game in this entire collection, Pokemon Conquest. I like it better than the actual Pokemon games. I've said so many times in this video that I'm a turn-based nut. And it's this one's no exception. I mean, it it I will tell you right now. I am a Japanese history nut right now too. I love learning about the samurai era and anything. I'm an era and anything about it. So it's great for a crossover with Nobunaga's Ambition. I actually have one of those games on Steam. We'll get to that when I do a Steam videos collection. But yeah. So that's all of my games I have from for my DS. Some good or most good, some bad. But no, I come back to many of the good, you know, to some, only a few of these games, in fact. Also, I have a few more funny stories about this. So, one, there's two games that I've parted ways with since I got my three, my original DSi. And the, the two games were Nicktoon's Attack of the Toybots, which was a game that I enjoyed. Um. This was before I became a bit of a beat em up fan, too. And the worst game I've ever had in my collection. Yeah, Quora's game is. Quora's DS game is bad, but it's not this bad. I had Shrek Carnival Craze. And I sold that one for a dollar. And I feel like I got so much more potential out of it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for looking at my video today. It was a very quick one, yet it's something that I think you should keep with you and learn about what kind of a gamer I am. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!